fifth hour as we come on the air. It has been uh, more than 24 hours now since a 10 year old boy went missing in Dallas County. And within the past few hours, we learned that the suspect is accused in a homicide. At the center of an active Amber Alert is Ian Aguilar. He is on the left side of your screen there. It's the first one in uh, the history of in Wilmer, according to the city's police chief. This Amber Alert is on the right. The suspect in this case, the boy's father, Juan Aguilar Cano. He uh, here's an idea of where Wilmer is, by the way, if you're somewhat new to the area. It's in Dallas County, about 20 minutes southeast of downtown Dallas, and that's where Natalie Haddad has been all day today. Natalie, you just spoke with the Wilmer police chief. What were you able to glean from that? We did, Jason, and we are learning new information as we come on the air. What started as one investigation has now turned into two, one of that missing child and a homicide. And Wilmer police tell me that the suspect in both cases is the missing child's father and the homicide victim is a family member. Now, here is what we know. 10 year old Ian Aguilar was last seen around 730 in the morning yesterday in his neighborhood on Oakdale Street in Wilmer. Now, police say he was taken by his father, 38 year old Juan Aguilar Cano. Dallas ISD confirms Ian was a student at Eddie Bernice Johnson STEM Academy right down the road from where the child lives. We also know that he is a special needs student. Now investigators say the homicide took place at the same location Ian went missing from and his father is the suspected killer. Now we are still working to learn who the victim is and when it happened. Wilmer's police chief Victor Kemp says this is a shock to the small town of Wilmer. He says it is the first Amber Alert in the town's history and the first homicide in many years. You know, we're a small community still, and uh, while everyone might not know everyone, a lot do. And, and the, the child, you know, attending school here. So our prayers and our thoughts go out to the family and the community because a lot of people know each other and the students, you know, that have to hear this and deal with it as well. So. Our hearts break for them and our prayers go out to them. Now, this is a developing story. We have multiple reporters working to find out the latest details for you, so you'll want to stick with us right here on WFAA. But for now, I'll send it back to you in studio, Jason. All right, Natalie, thank you for that update to, uh, there today. We're hoping that that boy is found safely, of course.